Hi guys. So this is today's look and I was inspired by this picture. Okay. Which is very um, sultry, smoky, but at the same, it's uh, same time, of course, it's a satin matte finish, which is what I wanted to achieve. So the eyes are just that, a mixture of like warm browns. The ma uh, the mouth is a kind of a semi-matte satiny, and so are the cheeks. And so this is the finished look, and just stick around and check it out. Bye. Okay, so um, I already went ahead and applied foundation, and this is the foundation that I use, New Complexion. And to achieve that satin matte finish, the Gentle Light Powder from uh, Clinique. And then I'm just putting on Soft Ochre Paint Pot from MAC all over the lid. so that it gives it a nice warm base. Okay, once you have that, this is a um, two colors from ST Lauder. I'm gonna take these two colors. So this is like a, sorry, this is a grainy color and this is more white. So I'm gonna put the grain all over the lid with a flat dome brush from MAC. And then I'm going to take this white one and just apply it here at the top to give it that extra pop of light highlight color just there. Okay, then with a, let's see, just a MAC 224, you take a MAC Soft Brown and you apply it all over the lid. So soft brown is very nice. Any, any other soft brown, you don't have to use Max, will do. Okay, do the same thing on the other side. Okay, once you have that, now you're going to take um, Espresso from MAC, and I just love this. So all these are like reddish browns. Okay. And just use the same brush and apply it here in the corners. In the corner and then blending down. The mo most of the color is going to be applied here in the outermost corner. You do the same thing on the other side. Once you have that all over the um, lid, you are going to apply, this is the bronzer that we're going to use, and we're going to apply this lighter color, mix it in with this darker color, just with the same fluffy brush. And you're going to go right on in the middle, and that's going to give it like a nice, it's not reddish, it's like more orangey yellowish. So you've got the orangey yellowish on the lid and then the reddish brown in the crease, which is very pretty. Okay, same thing here. Like I said, I like to mix lately with like different tonalities of color. And then you blend everything together. And here too, you blend everything together so that it like the colors fuse together the reddish in the corner I mean in the crease and the more yellowish in the base and then you want to maybe uh, go ahead and take that darker bronzer color and just apply it here in the outermost corner I'm going to blend this here in the outermost corner then uh, since we already have it out I'm just going to take a nice um, just a stippling brush, you swirl it in, the MAC stippling brush is fine, tap it off, and then what you want to do is that you will want to apply it here where you can see that there's a shadow, and then, but not too much like towards the mouth, just here, concentrate here, and then 
buff it out and then go on top on to the temples too and really really buff it out make sure that you don't see any harsh lines okay do the same thing on the other side then I'm going to take this uh, Lancome mousse this is a um, a blush really but we're going to use it as an eyeshadow go in with that 224 again for max so it's a mousse but it doesn't matter i'm going to take some and this is like very like an orangey brown and we're going to go again in the crease here and that's what's going to give it also that semi satin finish okay can, because it's going to mix in with the powder and this is a mousse so it's not shiny it's not shimmery it's like satiny and the same thing on the other side maybe that same flat brush dip it in there and just go under the eye don't want it to look too reddish because you don't want to look sick if something's too red you just take a bit of that espresso again dab in this flat it's kind of dense this brush and just apply it here under your lash line the bottom one and also you're gonna do a nice line fast line here at the top with your espresso Okay, so you always want to apply espresso and then blend, make like a little circle here and connect everything. Okay, and you're done with that. Then you want to go ahead and do your eyebrows and I filled them in. It's a, so a soft brown will do. And uh, you can take MAC, this is like MAC uniform color. And it's this beautiful uh, brown. I'm not going to do the insides of my eye. The line, I'm just going to line my eye here. Okay, and this is more of like a, a cold brown. But since I have all that warmth going on, it won't disturb. And you go over again with espresso to set the liner. And make it more intense here especially in the outer corner you want to concentrate most of the color here in the outer corner and then bring it down and that's it if you want to go ahead and apply some um, black eyeliner you can do so or just leave it like that nice and smoky so do your eyebrows nice and soft curl your lashes and apply mascara the mascara i'm using is the chanel one and of course i'm going to put all the info okay and then i uh, as far as the lips i wanted satin and matte so i used mademoiselle which is this color and um, these mm, Chanel colors are just satin and matte. The pencil brush linen from Christian Dior. And that's it. And it's um, to you want make some color actually. If you want some color, you can go in with the uh, Shiseido Luminizing Satin Face Color, which is just that. It's luminizing and it's satin at the same time so if you want to color a little bit of color on your cheeks just dab on some of this hey guys so this is a look i hope you enjoyed it and see you next time bye